Welcome. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jen Hillman, and I invite you to roll out your mat and follow along with me in this replay of my live yoga class, a part of the Yoga Restoration Series. So in this practice, we'll be moving slow and deep to help you connect to your breath and your body, slow down and relax. So go ahead and like this video, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And when you're all set, go ahead and roll out your mat and let's get ready to flow. We'll start our practice today in a nice, easy seat. If you wanna sit on a cushion or a blanket, do whatever you need to make yourself comfortable. And let yourself feel really supported, even here in the very beginning, just feeling nurtured in your very presence. And as you settle into your seat, you can start to close your eyes and turn your attention within. Observing the flow of your breath. Noticing how your body responds. Notice if your thoughts are racing or rambling on. And breath by breath, continue to call your awareness back to your breath, moving in your body. And allow yourself to tune in and observe the sensations that you feel, the physical sensations in your body, noticing where it feels tight or sore or a little stiff or achy. Just allowing yourself to notice. Again, we don't need to shift or change or make any, anything different. But this is simply a time to Notice. And allow yourself to extend upward on the base of your spine, moving up through your ribs, through your chest, extending up through your neck and through the crown of your head. Tuning in to that feeling of lift, creating space between your vertebrae. And notice how that creates more space for a deeper breath to come in. Let your shoulders relax. And let's Roll your head in a slow, gentle circle. Just taking your time to awaken the stretch. Slowly beginning to observe the feeling, noticing where it's tight, notice where it feels good. And you can reverse directions when you're ready. Just finding that opposite flow Exploring the range of motion. And gently let your head roll down to center, letting your chin fall forward towards your chest. Lift up in your spine, extending through the sides of your waist. As your head folds forward, tune in and feel a gentle stretch along the back of your neck. And bring your hands behind your head and gently 
press your head forward accentuating the stretch down your neck moving down your spine maybe you feel it between the shoulders or further down your back let yourself be present for the sensation and just move very slowly and subtly working that stretch down the length of your spine and slowly release your hands and unroll your spine slowly letting your head roll back up on top feel that lift an extension all the way up through the crown we're going to reach your right arm up and over leaning towards the left side so we're starting to work into a stretch along the right side of your waist you can gently pulse here or explore a little bit of movement as you begin to awaken the side body stretch Try to reach and extend out through the right arm. So we really like reaching over to that left side and see how that accentuates the stretch along the side of your waist. Then we'll inhale and roll your gaze up towards the sky. Notice how it opens your chest and shoulders. Then as you exhale, slowly roll your heart down over your left knee and let the right fingertips touch down to the floor allow that right shoulder to roll down towards the earth so as you anchor the right shoulder down you accentuate a deeper stretch try to anchor your right sitting bone down into the mat so you can reach those right fingertips even further across to the left side and maximize your stretch for three two and one then we'll open it back up to the side rolling your gaze back up towards the sky looking underneath the arm then bring that right hand behind your head hug your arm close by your cheek and press your head back into your hand taking that stretch right into the shoulder joint breathe slow and deep as you press towards your edge then we'll slowly release rising yourself up to center let's sweep that right hand all the way over to your left knee we're going straight into a twist reach your left fingertips back to give you some leverage we press into the mat extending up through the crown and it gives you the rotation the space you need to get a deeper twist then extend your left arm up towards the sky let's arc up and over towards the right side taking a side body stretch with a twist exploring that shape with one final breath then on your next inhale slowly rise all the way back up to center let your hands relax to your lap take a full round of breath and recenter good then we'll move to the second side reaching that left arm up and over arcing towards the right and then again you can pulse a little bit here find a little bit of movement in your stretch just noticing what's real today what what's present and be sure you actively reach out 
through that left arm, maximizing the stretch along your side body. Then we'll inhale and roll your gaze up towards the sky, feeling your heart and chest open. Then exhale and roll your heart down, folding over your left or your right knee. Then the left fingertips touch down to the floor. Try to roll that left shoulder down to the earth and walk those fingertips as far across as you can. Anchor your sitting bones down into the mat, giving you a little opposition in the stretch. Take it to your edge. One final moment here. Then we'll inhale and roll your gaze back up towards the sky, looking underneath your left arm, open through the heart and chest. Then bring that left hand back behind your head, hugging your arm to your cheek. Gently press your head back into your hand, stretch your shoulder and tune into your breath. Three, two, and one. Slowly rise yourself all the way up and sweep your left hand to your right knee. Walk the right fingertips back and sit up nice and tall. Take a big deep breath in right here. Then as you exhale, we'll slowly rotate deeper into your twist. Allow yourself to play with the boundaries, working your best twist. And then reach the right arm up towards the sky and slowly begin to arc up and over towards the left. Side body stretch with a twist finding your own delicious edge and slowly rise, pulling yourself all the way back up to center, rotate back to the front, letting your hands rest on your lap. Take a full round of breath. Notice how you feel. Okay, then from here, I'm going to bring the soles of your feet together and your knees open wide. And today, I want you to bring your feet a little further out in front of you than you normally would. So a lot of times in this stretch, we're working to bring the heels closer and closer to the body. But today, we're going to just open it up a little bit so you have a nice big diamond shape between the legs. Now, just a little side note. If your hips are really tight and your knees are way up here and your back is like this, <laughs> sit on a cushion, okay? Sit up on something a little higher so that you can lift and lengthen through your spine and let the hips relax. Okay, then from here, we're basically just gonna nose dive, tucking your chin down, rounding forward through your spine. Slowly allow yourself to fold into this stretch. And you'll notice this is gonna feel different than how we normally do, right? So it's still stretching into the hips and into the back, but we're accessing like new layers of tissue. So it doesn't really matter how far forward you fold, okay? It's just about tuning into the stretch. So let your head be heavy. You know, let your neck really relax. Let your shoulders round forward. And just breathe deeply into your body, breathing into the sensations that you feel. Is it in your hips? Is it in your low back? Is it in your neck and shoulders? You know, wherever the sensation arises, this is where your body is tight and this is where it's calling for attention. So send your breath to those places that are tight and cranky. <laughs> send them some oxygen. 
Send them some new life. Then we'll slowly begin to unwind. Gently rolling yourself up towards center. Then extend your legs all the way out in front of you. Now, if your legs are really tight or if your knee is tender, you could grab a blanket or a cushion, roll it up and have some support underneath your knees. So that's just going to give you, um, you know, that's that padding and support without like overextending the knees. Okay. So we're just setting ourselves up for a nice, juicy, yummy, comfortable practice. So just like we did with the feet together, we're going to slowly take a graceful nose dive. <laughs> so we allow the chin to fold forward, rounding through the upper part of the neck, starting to round the shoulders forward. You start to feel the stretch move down your back, slowly, slowly rounding forward. So this is a little bit different approach than when we go like lift up and fold forward. This is more of a rounding in the spine. So we allow the crown of the head to fold forward. Eventually, you know, you start to hinge at the hips. We just take it one breath at a time, exploring the boundaries of your own body. But see how much relaxation and ease you can bring into your pose. How much can you let go? And just deep in your breath, stay with that long, slow inhale matched by a long, slow exhale. Take a couple more rounds of breath here, meditating in your stretch. Slowly allowing, releasing, accepting the stretch. And we'll slowly rise, pressing yourself back up. Gently rolling yourself back up to center. Ooh, yes, feels so good. Now, I'm gonna bring your feet flat onto the floor. We're gonna work a reverse tabletop. Isabel, if you're still struggling with like strength and power in your legs, then don't worry about pressing all the way up, okay? If your knees or legs are tender or sensitive, you can just practice like pushing your feet down. You don't even have to lift your hips all the way up. Just pressing the feet down gently begins to activate the muscles and it's a nice, easy conditioning exercise. Okay. So you can just practice that. It's subtle. It doesn't look like much movement, but you push down with the feet and then release and push down and release. And then for all the rest of us with strong knees that are ready to rock and roll, we'll go ahead and press your hips all the way up from the floor, standing into the strength of your legs, lifting your hips up as high as you can. Then lift up your chest and your rib cage, pulling up out of the earth. You may even start to press your head back into your shoulders, opening through the front of your throat. And we'll slowly release your hips back down, all the way down to the mat. Then extend just the left leg forward. Okay. Then little by little, you're going to walk your heel, your right heel in as close as you can. Again, if the knees are tender, right, you might, only have a limited range of motion here. That's okay. Just bring it to wherever is the edge. Okay. For some of us, it's a little bit more. So everyone's body is different. 
okay? So once you bring that leg in, you can hold on to the front of your knee, bring your left hand to the floor, push into the mat and lift up your chest, right? I'm even gonna do this with my foot further out because I wanna experience it in a different way. We press and lift up. Then extend your right arm up towards the sky and reach towards the left toes. Yep. Flex your left toes up towards the sky as you pull yourself forward towards the left leg. If it's helpful, you could kind of glide your left hand off to the side a little bit. That might help to stabilize your balance. We're slowly folding forward over the left leg. There's a little bit of a shift, a little slight rotation in the spine as you fold forward here, breathing into that left leg. Then slowly make your way all the way back up to center. Circle your right hand around to the floor behind you. Then we're gonna reach that left arm across to the outside of your right leg. Then stabilize the right leg, okay? So it's not just loosey-goosey. We want a strong, stable leg so that you can press your left arm into the leg and get some leverage to work into a twist. So we're really rotating the ribs and the shoulders around, using the right leg to give you stability so that you have something to press against, to work that leverage. Nice deep twist for three, two, and one. Then slowly release, making your way back to center. We're gonna come all the way back around to the front. Then here, cross your right ankle on top of your left knee. Now, this is like phase one. Phase two, we start to work the right foot further up the thigh. Eventually, the right foot comes all the way up to the hip crease. So you find the best placement, you know, where that right foot wants to go. Then bring your right hand onto your right knee. Sit up nice and tall, lift up in your spine and gently, gently begin to press your right knee down towards the earth. Only gently, okay? If there's pain, we don't wanna push into the pain. There's, there's a fine line between hurt so good and hurt so bad. And only you are gonna know, you know where that line is. So it's up to you to be super present, to be really, really aware as you work into these stretches. Finding your own edge for one final moment and we'll slowly release and extend your right leg out in front of you. We just shake it all about, give it a little wiggle. Maybe roll the legs in and out a few times and then we'll bring the left foot in. So again, working to bring that foot as close to your body as you comfortably can and just gentle reminder again, if you have a cushion or something underneath the extended leg, a-okay, as long as it feels good in your body. Okay, so holding on to the left knee, bring your right hand to the floor, press into the mat and lift up in your spines. We're growing tall. So this is giving you a nice flexion in the hip socket, a nice stretch through your spine. Then from here, we extend the left arm up and reach forward towards the right toes. Begin to pull your body forward, working deeper into that fold. Breathe a slow, deep, juicy breath. 
as you work your way forward bowing over that right leg working your way into the twist or into the fold take it one breath at a time And we'll slowly rise and circle that left arm all the way around to the floor. Bring stability into the left leg so you can circle the right arm across. So we're crossing all the way over, but we don't just want the left knee to collapse in, right? So you have to stabilize and ground through the foot, keeping the knee in line with the ankle. Then we can press against that leg to get the leverage in your twist. Oh yeah, work in that rotation. Breathe slow and deep. Taking that breath all the way into the body, even though you're in this twisted shape. Stretch your breath. In and out then we'll slowly release back to the front and bring that left foot to the top of your right knee to the top of the thigh or all the way up to the hip crease once you find the placement for the foot bring your left hand to your knee Lift and lengthen in your spine, and we gently begin to press your left knee down towards the earth. So this is a wonderful stretch to improve range of motion and flexibility in the knee and in the hip. Okay, so you could be feeling either one of these areas really lighting up. Again, we wanna be mindful like where is the edge? Don't take it too far to the point of pain. An acceptable level of discomfort is okay, but you know we really wanna try and strike that balance. And when you're ready, we'll let it go. Slowly release and extend the left leg out. We we'll just give it a little wiggle, a little shake, rolling the legs in and out. Okay, then from here, we're gonna transition onto our feet. Isabel, are you good standing? You're on mute, so I'm gonna assume yes. <laughs> so just take your own journey up to a standing position. You can take your time and just get there how it feels good. Okay, and then from this standing position, let's circle your arms up towards the sky. Take a nice big deep breath in as you reach up. Then as you exhale, slowly start to fold forward over your legs. Just taking a nice easy forward fold. Make sure that your feet are parallel, not turning in or turning out. You can bend your knees as much as you need to allow your body to fold. And really just focus on relaxing the back of your neck, relaxing at the base of your skull. Relax the weight of your upper body as you gently fold yourself forward. If you like to have blocks under your hands that can like bring the earth closer to you, sometimes that can be helpful in your forward fold. Then from here, we're just gonna slowly start to rock from side to side, real nice and easy. Just bringing in a little motion, just exploring some movement. And just notice as you shift your weight side to side, observe the changes, observe the stretch that you feel. Okay, 
Ah. And stay connected to your breath every step of the way. And when you're ready, you can slowly begin to resolve the movement, making your way back to center as you fold over your legs. Then bring your hands onto your shins. And as you inhale your breath, Extend your spine long, lift and lengthen, rolling your shoulders back, extend out through the crown of your head. Then glide your hands up towards your hips. You can still have your knees bent a little bit if that helps, okay? Just make sure that your legs are stable. Then slowly begin to pull yourself all the way up to standing. Gently making your way back up to center. Now keep your hands on your hips. I'm gonna reach the right arm up and over towards the left side. Then you'll use the left hand to like push your hips over to the left as you stretch to that side. You might even look up underneath that right arm then slowly rise all the way back up to center. A little bit of core work here. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Circle the left arm up and over, pushing your hips towards the left. So we stretch up and over, opening through the side body. You might even look up towards the sky and slowly rise all the way back up to standing. Then we'll interlace your hands at the base of your spine. Stabilize through your feet. You can always have a little bend in the knees, but we still want stability in the legs. So with the hands squeezing firmly together, begin to reach your fists back away from your hips. Roll your shoulder blades together towards your spine. Hug your belly up and in. So we engage some core support and slowly start to roll your heart up towards the sky. Gently lifting in your chest, lifting in your chin, looking up towards the sky. Nice, easy heart opener. Then slowly release back to center, relaxing your hands down by your sides. Bring your hands onto your knees, just a nice easy bend in the legs. Then you can just slow and easy circle the knees around. Just mobilizing the ankles, a little of the hips, working some mobility in the knees, even if it's tiny baby little circles. Then we can rotate the other way when you're ready. Just letting yourself feel your way through the journey. And then we'll slowly release coming back to center. And you can just glide your hands all the way down your legs, making your way back towards that forward fold. Shift your weight side to side. Taking another moment here to explore and enjoy. And when you're ready, we'll come on back down towards your seat. We're gonna come down to the floor. Then I'm actually gonna have us rotate to your tummy. So you can swing your legs around and make your way onto your belly. And 
Now, again, uh, if you have sensitivity in the knees here, you could actually have a little folded up blanket or cushion underneath your ankles, and that will help to lift some of the weight of your legs, you know, off the knees. So again, having a little cushion or support underneath the feet, it's really helpful for those of you with knee sensitivities. Uh, so from here, we're gonna work a little cobra pose. So bring your hands alongside your chest and spread your fingertips wide apart. So we feel a little action in the hands. And then roll your shoulders up towards the sky. So you squeeze your shoulder blades together. On your inhale, slowly begin to peel your heart up away from the earth, gently lifting into your cobra pose, tuning into the strength, the power of your back. Take one more inhale and lift your chest a little higher. Then we'll exhale and slowly release, letting your heart come back down to the floor. Then slowly begin to press yourself up, bringing your forearms onto the mat. So we bring the elbows down, stacking your shoulders over your elbows. Then rotate your palms flat to the floor and press down with your hands, especially through the index fingers. We wanna rotate the index finger down. Then press your forearms, your elbows into the mat, lift up through your heart and chest and roll your shoulders down your back, dragging your heart and chest forward. Take another moment to find a little more lift opening through your chest and through your sternum. Take one more inhale here. Then exhale and gently release yourself back down. Stack one hand on top of the other and let your forehead rest onto your mat. And if it feels good, you can gently rock your hips from right to left a little bit. I'm just finding a little bit of momentum as the hips rock from right to left. And then you can slowly bring it back to stillness. Yes. All right. One more belly down back bend here. Bring your hands back onto your mat alongside your chest, spreading the fingertips wide. Inhale and press yourself up. And we're going to actually begin to lift up a little higher, pressing through the arms. But I want you to try and keep your shoulders down so as you push and lift, try not to shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Like that's not quite the movement. You wanna keep the neck long as you press yourself up. Then from here, slowly rotate your shoulders towards the right. Then open your chest back to center and gently Roll your shoulders to the left. So we just take a little twist in this lifted cobra. You can go back towards the right. Back to center. And you can twist again to the left. Just getting that nice rotation. And slowly bring it back to the center and fold yourself down. Turn one cheek down to the floor and relax your arms by your sides. Rotate your palms up towards the sky, letting your fingers and your toes relax. Take some deep breaths and massage your back body with your breath. Extend your arms out towards the sides like a capital letter T. Okay, then from here, 
You will bend your left knee, bringing your foot towards the sky. And then arc that left foot up and over and see if you can land your foot down to the floor behind you. Then open the left arm up towards the sky and then let your left arm drop back behind you. So we're stretching across the front of your right chest and shoulder and also getting a stretch across the left chest and shoulder. All right, so that left leg comes around and just lands to the floor to help you open up into this heart and chest stretch. And slowly release back to the mat, letting your tummy and hand come back down, rotating your leg back to the floor. Then we'll bend your right knee and guide your foot over to the left side. Once the left or the right foot lands down, circle your right hand up and back allow the weight of gravity to anchor your hand down towards the earth feeling that continuous and steady pull so you feel that juicy stretch in your shoulder and your chest Slowly make your way back to the mat, rolling back to your belly. And when you're ready, we're going to come back up through our seat. And just come back around, circling back towards the front of your mat. We're going to come back to that same shape we started with, bringing the soles of the feet together with the feet a little further out in front of you than normal. Then once you're ready, we'll slowly fold yourself forward again here and just notice any changes. Notice if things feel differently for you now than when we first came into this pose. Take some deep breaths here. Allow yourself to be present in this stretch. We're going to take, you know, three or five good long rounds of breath. So you have permission, you have time to really be present and let yourself go into the stretch. Take a couple more full, deep breaths. Allowing yourself to relax into the fold. When you're ready, slowly press yourself back up into your seat. You can close your knees into center. Wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself a little hug. And slowly roll yourself down onto your back. You can hug your knees in here, gently rocking side to side. Just finding a place of relaxation and ease. 
as you slowly rock yourself back and forth. Okay, then from here, we'll extend your left leg out in front of you and hug the right leg in a little bit more so we get a nice deep compression in the hip socket. And then slowly begin to guide your right leg all the way over towards that left side. And you can open your right arm off to the right side, allowing you to access a gentle stretch across your right shoulder. Take some deep breaths here as you allow yourself to soften in this twist. One deep breath at a time. Take one more full round of breath all the way in and all the way out. And slowly begin to roll back onto your back. Take a moment to reset in center. And you can draw your left leg up towards your chest and give it a good squeeze, compressing the thigh bone in the hip socket. Nice deep compression as you squeeze. Then slowly rotate the left knee all the way over towards the right side. Now, something to note, you could always bring a block or a blanket underneath the knee that's twisting. So again, it's like bringing the earth a little closer to you so that you're not just hanging out in space, but you can actually feel the knee grounding into something so you feel you know like a, a healthy resistance in the stretch it's like a good kind of tension where the muscle fibers are stretching and elongating Breathing all the way down into your low back. Take one more full round of breath. All the way in and all the way out. And we'll slowly journey back onto your back. You can give that left leg one more squeeze, one more love, appreciation. And slowly extend your leg down towards the earth. Gently working into your relaxation pose. Just make any little adjustments that you need so that you can feel comfortable and relaxed on your mat. Taking the time to get settled in, feeling the weight 
of your body melting into the earth. Make whatever little adjustments you need so you can completely relax. Relaxing your toes and your feet, your ankles and your legs. Relaxing around the knee and the thighs. Feel your hips relax and let go. Release your spine down to the floor. Relax your shoulders, your arms and hands and fingers. Relax your throat and your jaw and your forehead. Feel every muscle in your whole body relax and soften. Releasing the tension, feeling held and supported. Slowly take a deep, full breath in. And exhale and release. Full, deep breath out. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, gently awakening your body. Reach your arms and hands overhead, stretching your body long. And then slowly roll yourself over to the side and make your way back up to a nice easy seat. Just letting yourself come back around to a nice comfortable seat. So let's just take a final moment here to reflect on your journey. Notice how your body feels. Observing the changes. Notice the state of your thoughts, and the 
calm, easy feeling in your body. And just bring your hands together at your heart in a gesture of gratitude and appreciation. Let us honor and acknowledge this body carrying us through this life day in and day out. May we remember gratitude. May we remember to love this body and care for it daily. And thank you for allowing me to guide you in this practice and to walk with you on this yoga journey. It's truly an honor. Namaste.